Hello you guys and welcome to the coziest and most relaxing resort here at Walt Disney World and that is Wilderness Lodge. Today we're going to be checking out a Boulder Ridge studio and if you want the resort with the most relaxing boat ride then you're definitely going to want to stay tuned to check out this room. See how a family actually can sleep in it and enjoy it and if you're excited to see the room click that thumbs up button and let's jump into it. So here is the entrance once you come inside of the room here in Boulder Ridge. This is one of the studios. You are going to have a full size mirror here here to the right, right behind the door as soon as you come in. There is enough space if you have a single stroller, you could definitely park that there. If you have a tandem kind of inline stroller, it could definitely fit there as well. So right as soon as you enter the door, there's gonna be a little bit of parking space there. You do have some artwork with Mickey and Minnie hidden in there, doing a little exploring, checking out the wilderness. So very fun and lots of little hints of them throughout the room. So definitely be sure to check that out. Coming around on this other side of the wall as you come in, all you you have over here is your lights which I really wish not that DVC isn't listening to me but if for whatever reason anyone from DVC is watching this video which probably you're not but if you are some coat hooks would be wonderful here like rain jackets backpacks instead of putting them on the floor that would be wonderful to have there so I'm just putting in a request I don't know that's probably not gonna make it anywhere but you know I can at least say something but coming in to the main hallway here going into the room you are going to have your kitchenette here on the left. This top left cabinet is wide open, so plenty of space for organization and putting some groceries or anything. If you are spending a week in here, you do have some storage space. Under that, you are going to have your handy dandy microwave. So you do have a place to kind of make some microwave quick meals here in the room. And then on the right side, that cabinet is actually going to house all of your paper goods. So paper plates, paper cups, plastic silverware, things like that. And under that on the shelf, you are going to have your your toaster and then your ice bucket there in the center coming down you have quite a bit of counter space here you do have that nice little bar sink here on the right some hand soap dish soap it's a little bit of both and as well as a sponge and a towel if you are like wanting to wash your mugs refillable mugs from the resort that sort of thing you've got plenty of space for that you've got some paper towels and then your coffee set up here on the left this is the coolest Keurig I think I've ever seen in a hotel room I've not seen these in any of the other Disney rooms, so I'm actually really impressed by this. And my husband, who really, really loves coffee, is very impressed with this as well. So you've got your Keurig little pod spot here so that you can put in and make a quick cup of joe if you want to. But then if you are more of a drip pot coffee kind of person, then you do have that as well. So that's really nice. You do have some outlets here on the end and then right behind the coffee maker. So if you do need to plug some things in here, you've got that. Obviously you've got all of your Joffrey's, Twinnings tea, coffee kind of setup going on there. Coming down, you've got your mini fridge, which I am so, so excited about. So it doesn't have a freezer section, but it does have lots of space and it actually gets cold which is absolutely amazing unlike the beverage coolers I have a thing for beverage coolers if you if you've been around you know coming down the drawer you have some plastic silverware in here and then you also have a bottle opener can opener and another dish towel in here as well and then more drawer space. So you do have places to store things, which is really, really nice. A lot of times, a lot of these drawers are full of stuff, which is helpful to have the items in the room, but it's a little frustrating when you've bought groceries, things like that, and you need a space for them. You have more paper towels, another towel, another sponge, and more dish soap down there in the bottom of the little cabinet here under the sink, plus storage space. You could totally put a case of water or something like that down there. And then last thing on this wall that I will point out is your AC. This is where you're gonna find your thermostat. Spinning around to the bathroom. So you do have a single sink vanity here on the left. So you don't have quite as much space for multiple people getting ready, but you do have a ton of counter space. So if you're looking for that, you are definitely gonna find that here in this bathroom, which is amazing. You've got plenty of room for toiletry bags. You've got like curling irons, wands, anything you're doing, makeup spread out. Like you have room for everybody, especially if you do have that full five people in this room. You do have your lighted makeup mirror on the side and then some decorative lights on either side of the mirror there. I wish they did have like a can light in the center. That would be really nice just to add just a little extra light because you can see it's a little dark in this area. Like it's not bad, but it's not quite bright. My camera is like really working hard to like make this bright look brighter. 
So it's, it feels more like this level of light. So I, I just wish it was just slightly brighter. I like a bright hotel room, as you can tell. Coming down the wall, you do have two drawers here in the vanity. So you have some storage space there as well. And I'm sure you have your other drawer over here. And I believe, yes, this is where your hair dryer is as well. And then of course, little cubbies there for towels, toilet paper, tissues, things like that. Coming into the main part of the bathroom, you've got obviously your toilet all the toilety things, toilet paper holder, all that stuff. And then you do have some artwork there on the wall. No Mickey and Minnie that I could spot in this one. If somebody spots one, let me know. But I did not see it in that back artwork. Coming into the shower area, have some sliding doors and it is a shower tub combo. So you do have that beautiful tile work there on the back. A little overview of just, you know, shower features. You do have two different style faucets, like rain heads there, and then the pull down nozzle that's like handheld so you can get all rinsed off and clean. You've got your retractable clothesline there on the left. And then coming down, obviously it is a tub, so plenty of space for everybody to take a bath. So you get those little ones in there, which is perfect. And then you do have your Disney toiletries along the back with your shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. And then a nice little cubby for stowing any toiletries, razors, things like that that you might need there in the back. And then you do have your towel rack here on this right side. So got a space for that. And this is kind of what the situation of the bathroom is looking like with us in it. We've got jammies ready for bed as soon as we get back. We've got flushable wipes, like the whole thing. So we are very toddler friendly within this room. Coming over to the left side of the vanity, you're going to have your one and only closet in this room, but it is quite a large closet to be perfectly honest. So you've got your luggage rack, you've got things, suitcases spilled open. We came in from the pool, so we were ready for showers. Have a little hanging organizer there and then obviously extra pillows, blankets, things there. You've got your iron and your ironing board here on the left and then tucked around the corner here. You can see my camera will focus and <laughs> we're back to it. You do have lots of space as well as your uh, little locker over here. So you can put that stuff in there, your safe rather. So you do have a spot. If you have valuables and you want to stow them away, you can do that there. And then obviously there is plenty of room back in that closet. I could have actually tucked our owner's locker back into that closet corner, but we've been getting in and out of it. So I've not put it away yet, but that would definitely fit back in there as well. And now before we jump into the main room, I'm very excited because in one day the sponsor of this video goes live and that is actually my pixie dusted memories guide So I'm very very excited about it So if you are interested in getting a little assistance with planning your Disney vacation Then you're definitely gonna want to check out the guide It is step-by-step -step of helping you make all those little decisions from when do we want to go? What hotel do we want to stay at looking at the different options pricing things out and just kind of getting a grasp of what you're really looking for as well as planning your park days so going through through figuring out what is going to be the best fit for you and your family for the time that you're here and getting that figured out so that you can have the perfect Disney vacation for your family because we are not bathrobes you guys we're not one size fits all it's not just copy paste of what works perfectly for me is gonna work perfectly for you and that's okay the beauty of Disney is we can all Disney in our own way and have an amazing time doing it like I love that part of it so if you are interested in stepping through all of the decisions also being part of a really amazing community if I do have to say so myself, then be sure to click that little button below. Join the community, you get lifetime access, and we would absolutely love to have you over in the Pixie Dusted Memories community. Now, as promised, let's get back to that room tour. All right, so coming in the room, this one is a room that is going to sleep five people. Starting out on the left side here, you are gonna have a long counter space here under your flat screen TV, which is really awesome. So lots of place to set your bags, things like that. And then this is going to act kind of as your dresser here. So you do have two Two drawers these are the, gonna be the same size on this top side and then here on the bottom you have a larger drawer not super deep I don't know that I could get some of my packing cubes and things in this but if you are an unpacker you do have a few places for drawers and things to put things and then coming down you do have two little stools tucked away I think what I would have almost preferred than the drawer would be like a little fold down table that you could like back those out and that folds down and you could sit there and eat I don't know, that might have been a little better. Maybe just, I don't know, thinking out loud, spitball in here. And then you do have your fold down bed. So this is what it looked like before I folded it down and set it set the bed up for my almost three-year-old little girl. So that is kind of what it looked like before. And now it is 
this. So you have the bed all folded down. I was able to use this bed rail complimentary of Disney. All you have to do is call housekeeping and request one, two for me. I had to have three for our particular setup tonight. So I ordered three of those and they brought them to the room. No problem. And also brought a couple of extra blankets. We're extra blanket people. If you know, you know, at Disney, it's like you're sleeping with a sheet and a really thin blanket. So we always like ask for an extra or two. And then along the back wall, you do have a Chip and Dale. She was so excited for her Chip and Dale bed, like way too excited. So excited about your Chip and Dale bed. Wow. <laughs> So you can see it is super cute and very kid friendly. So that is gonna be our setup for tonight. Usually I do like slumber pods and uh, like slumber tots and things like that. So that is the situation though for now. Coming around to the other side of the room, you do have your main bed. So you do have your full size queen bed here on this wall. You have lots of little details throughout the room. Beautiful artwork here to the right of the bed. We've got a geyser point poster. We've got Mickey and Pluto exploring the falls on over to the left. And then here at the bed, you have a gorgeous headboard with lights on both sides and then the little pop out reader lights. They've been installing those in all of the resorts as they've been doing these renovations. And I think those are really cool. And then obviously it is a queen bed and thankfully under the bed, it has lots of under bed storage. So if you're looking for places to stow your suitcases, things like that, you do have a plenty of space to kind of put those away. You can slide them in and out as you need things from them and then tuck them away. That way it keeps the room a little more organized and tidy, especially if you do have five people in the room, you're going to want that extra space. You do have your nightstand here in the center there on the back. You're going to have your two outlets, your USB and your USB-C. And then you have your Hey Disney and your in-room phone. That way you can make any calls and obviously call bell services or be able to get that those bed rails brought in through housekeeping. Coming down, you do have a nice little cubby for some storage. You can lay things there and then on down you do have a little bit of this drawer space here in the nightstand as well so you can kind of tuck things in there between these two beds there's definitely room for a pack and play so if you do have little ones coming and you're just like where can I shove the pack and play you could definitely put that here heading back over here I did want to mention that and I completely forgot but you could put the pack and play in front of the closet obviously you're not going to be able to get in the closet but if you're wanting to like put them away so they can't like see you if you're like still sitting up or something like that you want to kind of tuck them away then you could definitely put that here it would totally have room for that there as well all right coming back to the room you have a beautiful rug with all of this detail i absolutely love it the bright colors so it looks absolutely gorgeous and then this is what the couch looked like all folded up so this was kind of how it looked and you can have a seat you have your coffee table there in front of the couch so you do have a place to sit down if you are a family and you're just traveling with little ones and you wanted to do set up pack and plays slumber pods, um, inflatable toddler beds, things like that. You could totally do that in front of this bed and be able to just slide the coffee table out of the way, put it there. Or instead of putting the coffee table over there, you could put a slumber pod here on this side of the room as well. So it definitely fit there in front of that adjoining room. But how we have it set up is we have the bed folded down and our almost five-year-old is going to be sleeping in this bed. She is so excited about her big girl bed. And we just have the bed rails on either side because I don't know about your kids. Mine are wiggly. I don't know why and they are like moving like I'll look over at them in the middle of the night and they'll be like crossways in the bed and just all sorts of things so I always put up a bed rail so one time I didn't I'm like oh no she's getting big enough fell out on the floor so I'm just rather safe than sorry but we have those set up there and then on the headboard behind you do have Donald stuck on geyser point and then Huey Dewey Louie fast asleep in their little tent there so super cute she's very excited about that Huey Dewey Louie bed and it's very like kid friendly obviously an adult could sleep on this but very kid friendly the mattress itself though is going to be about a five, maybe six inch mattress. So it's a little more comfortable. It's not quite as thick as the full size bed over here, but if you are an adult sleeping on this, it is going to be so much more comfortable and you're not gonna feel physically abused like you used to with the fold out sofa beds that were like, I don't know, like maybe three, maybe three inches at best. So thankfully they've gotten a lot better. I've slept on these personally and they're way more comfortable. Oh my goodness. They are 
they actually feel like you're sleeping on a real bed. Now, heading over to the window, you are on your curtains gonna have some little explorer friends you might recognize there, so you can kind of point those out to your kids. I think that is so fun, mine always love it. And then coming out on the balcony, this is our standard view. So you do have two chairs and a table out here. And then we have a view of the woods here, which is absolutely beautiful, nice little wooded view. It's gotten a lot quieter, so we are on the side where the main Boulder Ridge pool is so early or middle of the day when we got here and checked in it was a little noisy because a lot of people were there I don't hardly see but a handful of people in the pool now but there were heads everywhere in that pool earlier today so it was quite busy so you did have a little bit of noise on the balcony but once you close the door you really didn't hear it to be perfectly honest but this room you guys is absolutely gorgeous. Now, if you're curious about staying here and wanting more information beyond just the room, you're like, oh, what's it like? What type of rooms do they have here? What kind of activities do they have? What's it like actually staying at a resort like this, getting back and forth to the parks, that sort of thing, then you'll definitely want to click the red subscribe button and the bell notification because the next vlog that goes live is going to be our Boulder Ridge Resort Day review. So we're doing a hybrid of review and a resort day here. So lots of fun facts, things about the resort. So you'll definitely want to click that. If it's already live though you can actually click right here so once it's live you can click that button you can head over there and i will see you guys here at the resort so let's go hang out and since you've made it this far you are now part of the honorary end of the video club so hi nice to meet you thank you for sticking around and since you're now part of the honorary club i need to know so you've got to leave me a comment with a bear emoji in it that way i know you're part of the secret club see you guys later bye